Following California's lead threatening legal action against the Trump administration for adding a citizenship question to the 2020 census. Given the way that this administration has attacked immigrants, you can understand why immigrant families would be afraid to fill out the census questionnaire. In our lawsuit, we argue that this decision by the Trump administration violates the Constitution and federal law. So do they have a case? Here to debate, contributor to the Washington Examiner, Ryan Gerdusky, and senior lobbyist at Progressive Change Campaign Committee, Sarah Badawi. Thank you both for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank Good morning. you. So, Ryan, I will start with you. Legal or not? It's completely legal. Um, the only thing in the Constitution about the census is that they have to ask how many people live in any particular household. Anything after that is the government's, um, you know, is, uh, is by the government's will. So sex, age, gender, citizenship. It's completely legal for, for the country, to, for the census to do that. They've done that in the past, and we're just continuing on that. So, Sarah, are there, what, 12 different states at this point opposing this census question? Uh, do they have any ground at all? What do you think? Yes, the constitutional text is clear. It calls for a count of all persons residing within the United States. If the Founding Fathers had wanted it to be specifically legal residents or citizens, I'm sure they would have said so. We have plenty of data from other places that uh, gives us an accurate count of citizens, but the purpose of the census is to have a whole count of the population. And anything that undermines that goal should be considered unconstitutional. Yeah, you know, one of the issues, I think, Ryan, at hand, people say that uh, there will be less people will be inclined to fill out the census if they're not a legal citizen. Well, I mean, that's their choice. I mean, you're not legally obligated to fill out the census. There are some uh, sub religious groups that don't fill out censuses. Um, and there is there, there's not like a deportation task force following them. Listen, it's very important to know how many citizens versus non-citizens there are in the country. And with this information, we'll be able to make better policy positions, better, um, better, better legislation. And uh, it's good for the country. It's a, it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, and one of those policies specifically of concern Sarah, uh, uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders talked about when she was defending the action, she said specifically it would protect voters with the Voting Rights Act. So... Census experts agree that we have plenty of information through the American Community Survey to enforce the Voting Rights Act. That is just not the issue here. Having a full and accurate count of the entire population is important for everybody because it helps us figure out where we need to allocate dollars. And we don't take a look at which communities have the most legal citizens when we make that decision. We look at the total number of the population when we try to allocate where we're going to build our newest roads and our schools and all these things like that. So when we say, oh, we're going to take a look at who's legal and who's not, and that's important, it actually hurts the entire community. It doesn't just help the ones that are considered legal citizens. Mm -hmm. Ryan, so, that's, that's not true. Ryan, you're shaking that's, your that's, head. Why do you disagree that's, with that? That's completely not true. Um, first of all, there is nothing that's going to make you be deported by sitting there and saying, I I'm not legally in this country. Okay, well, let's flip it. But let's flip it. What if this was a question about whether or not you're a lawful gun owner? People have protested giving the government information about themselves because we don't necessarily Legal know how that information is being used. Not, no, we don't have a national gun owner registry yet, and that's because people are worried about how the government uses well, when they get information their about them. Done, but the point here is the very clear the Constitution them. requires a whole and complete count of the population right. and anything that undermines that goal. This is not undermining that. This is just getting it more information. Is. That's anything like sitting there saying we can't ask if you're a male or a female. Anything that says well, male or female is not they a ask you similar about your, question. They ask you about your income, you're not deported based maybe, on whether maybe people, you're not deported and whether and or not you're a male or a female. Right, well, we, and you're not deported whether or not you're illegal or not legal by the census because there's not a deportation task force right after them. This is just a question. This all right. but assures well, we people to, will not complete the census. Well, we have to wrap it up. It's definitely something that people are debating right now, uh, whether or not if you're not a legal citizen of the United States, should you, in fact, have to you know, fill out this as uh, census or not. Uh, Ryan and Sarah, thank you both for joining us. Appreciate it.